Are you RSVPing yes this holiday? Express has you covered with outfits for every single invite. With confidence boosting styles, real life versatility, comfort, and quality, Express has you covered. These outfits are great for on the go or just staying at home for your favorite holiday movie marathon. Every time I'm at the mall and I walk past Express and the mannequins are literally the most fly things I've ever seen, I always go in there and spend so much money. So I'm definitely a big fan at Express. Express has RSVP ready tops for every event on your agenda with cozy knit fabrics, sparkle details, and bright colors. Discover a dress for every outing, like cocktail dresses for a holiday bash, plus sparkle and shine to make you feel confident. Their jackets have luxe layers in faux fur, cozy knits, and more. You can choose from cozy neutrals or jewel tone shades with festive embellishments. Express also knows that bodies change, especially with those holiday meals. And now your denim flexes with you. Their Flex X jeans fit up to three sizes all in one pair with 24-7 comfort and a flexible waist size. Be on the lookout for great deals in stores and at express.com. RSVP yes this holiday. Unwrap festive new styles, holiday deals, and more at express.com or in stores. What's up everybody and welcome back to my podcast, What They Don't Tell You on Podcast One. We are in Sorry, we are literally about to end this year. It's crazy. I just had a hair appointment this morning and I told the guy, see you next year. And that was crazy. Like, can you believe that we're almost in 2022? Everyone in the comments for this episode, let's write down our New Year's resolutions because I want it to be manifested. You know, you write it down, put it out there in the universe so that it's just out there. And I feel like it works better when you just have something written down. Anyways, today's podcast... (laughs) We have a special guest, I guess. Um, his name is Cameron. I guess. His name is Cameron Hauser. Um, I just ate my hair. <laughs> Can we do our handshake? Yeah. Ready? Yep. Up and... Oh, fuck, <sighs> I did mess it up. Sorry. That's okay. No, one more. No more. We'll try it again later. <laughs> Jordan, do you have Kay. T-Rex arms? You can't reach that. <laughs> That's our handshake. Um... All right, Cameron, where do we even start? Let's start at your start. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? I don't know. Let's start at your start. How did you get started with... Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, he's a he's a rapper, he's a musician, he's a creative person. He is awesome, I guess. <laughs> Sorry for hitting the camera again. But um, let's start with like where you're from and how you got started in the music. All right, so I'm uh, from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. I um, went there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, I got started into music. My dad did music uh, when I was growing up and stuff, so uh, it kind of, like, got me into it. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I don't know, I kind of just, like, branched mm-hmm. off and uh, started doing my own thing after high school, uh, mm-hmm. just, like, making music and going on tours and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of, like, where it all stemmed from. So were you writing and like make or were you making beats like what did you start with because I feel like so- sometimes people start with like beats or and melodies and some people start yeah. with like lyrics so like what No, did you I just do? uh I n- I never really like wrote. I just always like said what I felt. Freestyle. Yeah, so I like kind of this you day I grip. really don't <laughs> You are hilarious. <laughs> to this day, I really don't write music. I just kind of go off, like, heartfelt. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Mm, you're going to the studio after this, right? What are you going to write about? Mm, well, I just said I don't write, so. <laughs> 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 well, what's your, where's your heart at? Uh, today? Mm-hmm. Uh, somewhere up in the clouds. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Cameron. <laughs> okay, Cameron. So you start going on tours, and you're, like, you're in the scene. You love music. Yeah. But y- you weren't releasing things by yourself, right? Uh, yeah, I was. How long ago were you starting to uh, release? I things? S- released my first uh song, I think, in 2016. It was with one of my best friends, uh, Dion. Shout out him. Oh um, wait, I know Dion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> made we made a uh, we made a song in his closet, and uh, it was actually, I mean, that was like my first song ever. So. So from going from recording in a closet to like booths in LA, yeah, what is Like, did you, like, little you in, like, the closet recording was, like, obviously your dream is to be doing what you're doing now. So, like, how do you think, what was, like, the main three reasons of why you, like, continued to do it and, like, what, how you got to this point that you're at now? Because, like, when people are, people are out there probably just like you were five years ago, six years ago, 
and they're like, wow, this, like, I want to be there. Like, right. so what's like three main things that you could say about what they don't tell you right. about getting here? I don't know. You just got to stay dedicated. Um, it's just about like having the love for it. Like if you do something you don't love, you probably don't have as much ambition, you know, mm -hmm. to keep going. But uh, I would just say um, three things for me was the love for it. That's one. Um, just hearing my own voice. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I just always love hearing myself. Mm, uh, you should then, have a podcast. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know. It just helped me express my feelings. Mm -hmm. So that was a big thing for me. You know, is that number two or is that three? That was three, I think. Oh, OK. Yeah. How about we talk about your new music? Because you've like switched up. Honestly, I yeah. feel like when you played me your music, we I remember this. We were in the parking, parking lot. lot of Insomnia Cookies and he shows me his music. And like I feel like looking at you and like seeing hearing your old stuff, like there's a complete difference to what it is now. Right. And it is more heartfelt, like what you said. Mm -hmm. And maybe you were writing stuff in the past or like other people were writing for you, whatever. But like how did you just start this like new wave of Cameron? Because um, you used to also go by Heartbreak Kid <laughs> yeah. and now you're Cameron Hauser. Yeah. So uh basically like um I just seen like uh like there's like a pocket of music, you know, there's like Polo G, Gunna, and then mm -hmm. there's like a pocket where it's like Don Tolliver, Justin Bieber. Yeah, there's just like different pockets. And then I chose where I wanted to be. And then I created the music that I wanted True, to there perform. Is totally pockets. You know what I mean? So it's just like uh, where I want to be is just like like more like pop. You know what I mean? Like just, like Justin Bieber's his favorite. Yeah, ever. Yeah, shout out him. He's <laughs> super fire. I listen to his music every day. Yeah, um, I listen to Juice World every day. He listens to Justin Bieber yeah. every day. But yeah, um, I don't know, just like my creative space has like expanded so much more. Mm -hmm. And then like I've just gotten so good with uh, just my music, like just progressing every year. You know what I mean? So this is where I'm at right now. And it just it took a while to get here to perfect it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. See, I, I was a Cameron fan before I knew who you were because yeah. of he's on uh, Cashing Out yeah. with uh suey, suey. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys i have had this song on my like i've watched the video millions of times yeah. never like literally never you look so different too yeah. so it's not like oh wow she wasn't feeling me back then like you don't even look like that but um so i he you didn't even know that no. until we were in the car and i was playing music and you turned it on yeah i turned on catching on i'm like this yeah. is my sh and he's like that's me i i was the like i was heartbreak kid yeah. so how did you, I was watching one of your in interviews one time. <laughs> I, first of all. Um, Before we met? Yeah. No, 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 no. Like after we met, I was oh, okay, going on okay. my, you know, yeah. you don't do stalking a deep dive me. stalking. Yeah. Did you stalk me? Um, A, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just checking it out. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I was doing this deep dive on camera and he was, you were talking about how you got the name Heartbreak Kid and it's so sad. Yeah. You want to talk about that here? <laughs> I mean, we can. That's fine. Okay. I mean, I've just been through, like, a lot of heartbreak. So yeah. it's just, like, it's, I don't know, traumatizing, I guess. <laughs> so I kind of just, like, uh, the heartbreak kid is also Shawn Michaels. Like, that was his his thing he went by. So that's why, like, I stemmed from, like, mm -hmm. going to my normal name. Because if you look up heartbreak kid, you know what I mean? It pops up as him. And then I was just, like, oh, I don't want to do that. I mm -hmm. want, like, my stuff to be seen as soon as they type my name in. So that's kind of yeah. why I changed it up. But, yeah. Comes from heartbreak. So your new music, you just released "Bad Days," and you're releasing another song like at, yeah. at the end of the month, right? Yeah, uh, December thirty first. Yeah, uh, mm. New Year's Eve. That's a fun night. Yeah, fun night. <laughs> um, there's just so much like inside jokes. I don't yeah. even know what's going on. One little secret about the bedding aisle is that while cotton might be the most popular fabric for bed sheets, duvets, and pillowcases, it's also harmful to the planet. That's why I'm excited to introduce you to. Attitude. Made from naturally organic bamboo, Attitude sheets are made without toxic chemicals and use 500 times less water than cotton. Plus, they're silky soft, they're so comfortable for you and the environment. As soon as I started using these sheets, I've started to honestly sleep better because they're so soft and smooth. It actually is a little cooling and it's more comfortable for me. FYI, cotton uses a lot of water, energy, and chemicals during production. That's why Attitude uses naturally organic bamboo. The most resource efficient plant on the planet. Attitude sheets reduce moisture and regulate your temperature to keep you cool. 
I'm telling you guys. And comfortable throughout the night. Try any Etitude bedding for 30 nights. If you're not completely satisfied, return it for a full refund. Right now, you can get 20% off your order plus free shipping when you visit Etitude.com slash Jordan and enter promo code Jordan. That's J-O-R-D-Y-N. Remember, that's Etitude as an eco attitude. Order today for free shipping and 20% off your order at Etitude.com slash Jordan. Promo code Jordan. Talk about diamonds and when you recorded that and basically... Um. How you came up with that whole song? Uh, the the new one mm-hmm. that I'm about Diamonds, to release. Yeah. Um, so I made that last time I was out here in LA. Uh, September. In October. I made that in October. You were out here in October. Yeah, I was out here till like October. Oh 19th. yeah, 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 yeah. Till October. Yeah. So we, I made that track. I went to the studio. Um, I was working with like uh, my um, my people. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we came up with a beat and everything, and uh, it just. I don't know, it just came into my head, and I was like, oh, shit, this is going to be fire. That That's the song that has, like, my, my favorite line ever, yeah, right? Yeah. He played me this song and a couple others in L.A. All his new stuff is so good. You guys just have to, like, check it out, obviously. Bad Days is already out. The music video is out. Mm-hmm. Um, filmed in Miami. Yeah. That was fire. That was super fun. I was supposed to go jet skiing with you. Yeah. Didn't go. <laughs> um, red flag. Red but, flag. <laughs> but, um, okay, Cameron, the people have asked you so many questions that the questions are going to take a while. I just wanted you guys to like know his story, his background, his new shoes, and we're going to get into some fan questions now because they have a lot of questions for you. Yeah. Are you nervous? Not at all. <laughs> I think you should be. Why? I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. I'm ready. Come on, I'm ready. Is it like a timer? Uh no, no, no timer. Okay. How did y'all meet? Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh i went to perform at uh lyrical lemonade um let's talk about how we both got there first okay and first then, like, of all I, I i can't really remember like i wasn't supposed to go like i wasn't going to go not supposed to go but i wasn't gonna go and then i like was like whatever like i'm gonna go so yeah. i hopped on a plane and then we went there and then uh me and my brother were performing yeah. and then after we got off stage you like Walked. We met in Chicago at Lyrical Lemonade. Shout okay. out Cole Bennett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so we went. Shout there. out Cole Bennett. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so we went there. Um, and then I got off stage. I was like exhausted, and then you like walked up to me with your friend, and you were like, "You did such a good job," and I was like, "Oh hi." Like, <laughs> and then uh, after that, like we kind of like chopped it up back in uh, like where the green rooms. And yeah, I don't. Were. He also just. <laughs> Remember what? You also don't really remember the whole night, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna yeah, do my was side. A little too. intoxicated. I'm gonna do my side. Okay. So, same thing. The festival was like three days long, and it was on yeah. Sunday or something. And I, like, obviously wasn't supposed to go to this festival, but I see. I think it was a Friday, Jordan. Yeah. Oh, I was leaving Michigan on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go just for one day. Like right. I see the festivals going on. Um. And I'm like, oh, wow, I want to go. <laughs> so I uh, really like these artists performing. I want to go. And I want to take my friend, Brooke, who's like uh, a fan as well. And she's her whole thing has always been wanting to go to Coachella with me and like take her to a festival or a uh, concert. Like I've always taken her to like Harry Styles and concerts in L.A. when she was out there. So I was like, oh, wow, this festival's going on. We should go. But I was like not about to like go for some reason and i was like if i can get free tickets i'll just go so Mm -hmm. i dm the festival and i'm like hey i would really love to go um they were like will you do like a feed post for us and like are you over 21 blah 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 and i was like yeah so i go because i'm promoting the event now so i'm like taking a picture and i didn't have an outfit i was in michigan i go to h&m and i buy a whole outfit i'm like i'm not prepared (laughs) that outfit was from (laughs) h&m I Except for the kids' that. top, I wore a kids' yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm like not prepared to go to this festival at all, and I had to drive an hour and a half to go to get there. So yeah. I take Brooke. We're going to this festival, and I'm like talking to uh, people at the festival, yeah. and I'm like, I need to get artists. Like, how do I get artists? I, I'm not standing in this crowd. Like, it's way too right. hot. Like, I gotta get out of here. They only gave me VIP. So I don't even think you know this. So I have VIP wristband. And I act, I'm like, I'm a finesser, you know? Mm-hmm. So I get up to the gate, and I tried every out, because every hour, they, I, I, I was watching, 
they swap security people at the gate to go backstage every hour. So it took me two hours of two swapping like of the people to be like, oh, I left some, like I played so dumb. And they let me backstage with my VIP wristband with Brooke. Yeah. So I'm VIP backstage now. And I'm like, if I need to get anything, I'm not going to get back in here. So we're wearing our jackets. It's 90 degrees, but we we can't show our, our wristband. Right. So we're like sh- trying to like hide our wristband. And I'm like, I'm backstage. Like, let's go. I don't even know how I got here. This one like girl just let a VIP girl back in here. Yeah. So I'm backstage now. And just walking around, and then um, his brother's performing, and I'm like, oh, I got to go, Landon, everyone's here, and I'm, like, backstage now. And then, yeah, he comes off the stage, and I'm like, oh, and I go, Brooke, we need to go up to this dude. She goes, I really like your tattoos. Oh, yeah, she started the conversation. Yeah. She's like, wow, your tattoos are so cool. They're so creative. And then you were, like, good job or something. Yeah, I'm like, y'all killed it. Like, let's go. So... Yeah, they were, like, leaving the festival, and I was like, wait, no, 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 no. Like, like we got to get, like, this has right. got to continue. Like, I don't care about, like, that was the only show I watched. Right. Because I had just gotten there and just gotten backstage. So now we're back, uh, I'm texting, and he's like, he's like, I'm my brother's going to run you out passes. You brought me and Brooke the passes to get backstage. I did? Yes, you did. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, you brought me the passes, and then we were back there for like three hours, yeah. and you were like, I remember Cameron, he was just a funny one. Like, Ugh. Cameron was the, he was out of pocket, he was funny. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to go play basketball, do you want to come? And I was like, it is way too hot to go play basketball, and you came back like two hours later, and you were like, turn. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you guys left, but then... um. I don't even know how we like continued to talk. Like uh, I, I don't know how I got, I got your, your number. Uh, I I got your number um when we were back there and then uh Yeah, I wonder if what the first conversations were. I like. was just like, yeah, let me get your number or something. I don't remember. I remember. You probably know more than I do. Yeah. I was uh, intoxicated. Yeah. Okay, well that's how we got that's how we met. Yeah, that's how we met. Ladies, this ad is perfect for this episode. You know, we're talking about hookups, we're talking about sneaky links. If you've got that, you know, situation in your life, let's just say a feminine issue or something that you wish could uh be freshened up, we have your solution. That's why you need to know about PhD Feminine Health. PhD Feminine Health's boric acid suppositories are the number one best selling, affordable, doctor recommended solution for vaginal odor. Here's the science. Boric acid is a natural compound found in seawater. It's been recommended by doctors for decades as a safe, holistic alternative. And they're a woman-owned business, which means they really know how to cater to your needs. These days, PhD believes that self-care is crucial for your overall well-being. Give the gift of self-care and love to yourself. Register now at phdfeminineinhealth.com slash win to receive a free lifestyle subscription box from our friends at Bombay and Cedar. This box contains vegan and cruelty-free deluxe size beauty and lifestyle products, a retail value of over $100, plus a $500 Visa gift card. Go to phdfeminineinhealth.com slash win. Also get 20% off all products right now. Use code Jordan at phdfeminineinhealth.com slash win. What is your favorite tattoo? Mm, probably my uh, my daughter's name on my shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Who hit on who first? I don't know. What? I don't know. <laughs> who hit on who first? I wasn't really giving you that look, but you. Uh, me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like, no way. Yes, Cameron. I hit on you first? You came up to me and said good job. Nah, I mean like hitting on. When did I hit on you? That day? No. Are you talking about like? Yeah. Recently? No, but like after the after we had met. Let's talk about what I told you. What'd you tell me? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. How would we say that, Cameron? What? What'd you say? What I said to you? Because I guess th- yeah. Okay, so basically, um, when we became like friends, I told you I'll be. Your well, when I told you we're friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whatever. Homie. Homie, yeah. I called him homie. So, okay. So, basically, I told you because, first of all, you did keep calling me homie, and I was like, yo, knock it off. But I told you. I said I wasn't ready for nothing, and I didn't want to lead him on. I wasn't ready for anything either. Exactly, but. But, listen, (laughs) I said, I'll be your friend till you like me. Yep. And what happened? (laughs) 
<laughs> Nothing, bitch. Guys, you got to manifest. I'm trying to yeah. tell you. Show your face. It works every time. We're going to get into that. Yeah. Okay, what is the meaning behind, like, a couple... Of, let's talk about, like, this one, your... Um, the one across your chest, obviously. Yeah, but that's heartbreak. Yeah, we already explained Okay. That. Is there any other ones that are um, kind of, like, have a meaning? Yeah, uh, this whole arm sleeve is just, like, uh, it's, like, all about, like, religion. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. uh, has, like, the Ten Commandments, um, has a cross. It has, uh... How many crosses do you have? I'm not sure. Um, it has, like, clouds, <laughs> doves, sure. stuff like that. So, yeah. this, this, uh, right arm sleeve is dedicated to, uh, my brother that passed away. So... That's pretty dope. I still got to get his name right here. Uh, but, um, and then this side is like a, it's like a, I don't want to get like backlash. It's like a hell themed. Uh, <laughs> like, so you like, got both so, sides. Yeah, yeah. So Ying it's like yang. Hell, hell, yeah. Because, you know, you fight Juice demons world. every day. Yeah. Taking whatever so. hell, whatever bad situation. Makes exactly. Good. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Do you still keep in touch with your daughter? She is so cute. Of course. Every day. Love her to death. And when I'm not traveling, I'm with her. So, yeah. yeah. He goes he goes live with her, and I love it. Yeah. She's so pretty. I love her to death. How many kids do you want to have? Mm, uh, I don't know. I haven't thought that far. Probably, uh, I want a boy. Says <laughs> so the one with the kids. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got a daughter, so I'm not really thinking about more kids, yeah. you know. But uh, no, I, I want a boy. I mean, I honestly would be cool with, like, a total of, like, four kids. But I'm not trying to, you know hop in a minivan you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah he wants a g-wagon yeah how has life changed since becoming a dad uh it's changed a lot um you gotta like your main focus is your kids so everything you do is just based around you know her so i can't just like move to a different state and never go back you know what i yeah. mean or like i don't know go it's too just, far ever yeah really. just be gone for too long you know um it's a, it's a big step, so it changed my life a lot, especially, like, thinking before I do some dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Because, sure. yeah, you know, you got that little girl at home. You can't be out here just doing anything. Mm-hmm. You got to move the right way, so. Next question. How is Cam's relationship with his brother, Skies, and what is their relationship like? It's great. We actually have to thank Cole and Skies for us meeting. Yeah. yeah. Shout out both of y'all. Lyrical yeah. Lemonade. Let's yeah, go. Fire. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, uh, we, we've been good our whole life. So, I mean, we've just been around each other literally forever. So 10 months apart, right? Yeah. We're only 10 months apart. Shout out mom. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's great. Um, yeah, I love him to death. I'm always there for him, you know, since the beginning, uh, I've just always been by his side and I'm like his protector, you know, like, I'll and, never, like, main support system, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I, like, I'd never let anything happen to him. Uh, I've always supported him, you know what I mean? So we got a good relationship, a great bond. So Brotherly. Yeah. Brotherly love. Is that what you were trying to say? <laughs> Brotherly love, I don't know. <laughs> um, what's your favorite and least favorite thing about each other? About my brother? Each other, me and you. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> what? Um, favorite thing about you? Yeah. You are actually hilarious. <laughs> like, if if you just sit there and listen to like the shit you say throughout the day, it's actually hilarious. Like it is. Like I'm. Like when you showed me your videos on YouTube and you do like daily jobs in the summer, I was just like, oh my god, you're hilarious. Because like you're so innocent that you don't think that some of the shit you say could be offensive to people. So you literally just like laugh and walk away. Like oh my god, your dog died, and like walk away. I'm just like, what the. F-? <laughs> Yeah, you're actually hilarious. It's funny. So yeah. that's your favorite thing about me is that I'm funny. Yeah, you're hilarious and you're a very loving person. Thank you. Yeah. How about your least favorite thing about me? Um, least favorite? Sorry. Uh, I don't know if I should answer that. I don't know what to say. You can say whatever you want. Uh, least What's... favorite thing. I don't know if I have one. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> least and the, you have to have what what bothers you about okay it? sometimes like when we're in the car and i'm trying to vibe out to a song and you keep facetiming people that's a little annoying okay. but it's not too bad but yeah okay i can get there yeah I can, yeah okay yeah. so my favorite thing about you okay oh i thought you're give hilarious. it to me no you can't use mine really yep yeah, no you can't use it but that mm. dig deep i am okay let's go i'm waiting um <laughs> look me look me in my eyes when you tell me 
<laughs> Probably how uh, s- what is the exact word? Like you, what you want, you will not stop till you get it. Like pers- like. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on, Jordan, no, <laughs> cut, no, we're not doing that, that sounded crazy. No, I mean, like, you, like. Like my ambition? Yeah, like ambition yeah. and, and, um, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, probably just like that you, you like, you want what you want right. and like you work hard for that. I guess ambition, but like, that is not really what I meant. It's I'm going to do drive. a new one. It's about trash. It's about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do a new one. Okay, I'm going to do a new one. What's your favorite thing about me? <laughs> Why are you blushing, Jordan? I'm not. Okay, come on. Answer the question. Um. <laughs> ooh, how protective you are. Like, caring protective. Yeah, I'm very protective. I like that. Like, in a good way, though. Like, yeah. not in a bad way. Yeah. Like, hey, don't talk to her. I, I would never do that. I'm, like, I wouldn't. Like, no, no, no. I'm just saying that, like... Protective as in, like... Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like, protective as in, like, when I... Uh, I don't... I, you when know, you try to get hit by cars every day? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 like that. Like, I like that protectiveness. Yeah. Okay. My least favorite thing about you is probably that you are, like, so... When you're on your phone, there's... there's, there's I'm not... The wall. Like, yeah. there's nothing. I mean, I got, like, ADHD, so it's hard for me there's to There's TikToks on, all day long, and yeah. there's... There's FaceTimes all day long. Oh, yeah. But that's day. you, too. That is me, but... Okay, don't... We can pull out the data. The screen time? Yeah, come on. Like, you know you're on your phone for at least 23 hours out of the day. What's your screen time today so far? Let's pull it up, actually. Okay, here we go. I was also... I was at a hair appointment. You were. All day. I feel like I should go to screen yesterday. Screen time. Uh, today's average... No, just today, the day. Oh, Monday. Four hours and 53 minutes. Monday? No, no, no. Today. That's today. Today's Monday. December 13th, today? Yes, today. Four hours and 53 minutes. I'm five hours and 27 minutes. Yeah, see? Come but on. I was at a hair appointment. And I was literally at, at the house. Yeah. Just chilling. True. Okay, how do you deal with the hate and haters? This is a good one for you. Um, What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> So how I deal with it is, uh, I don't know. I just ignore it because, you know what I mean, it's my life. Um, I can't focus on what people think about me or I'll never get anywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? So you just got to let that sh- be. Just just ignore it, you mm-hmm. know? I mean, I can't let people that aren't in my shoes control my life. So, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Because if you don't know me, you shouldn't, like, speak on what you don't know if mm-hmm. you don't know a person. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, whenever, like, things come up with you, I, you always just, like, will continuously say, like, that's, like, that's not my character. And, like, yeah, it's, I, like, like, it's annoying. Yeah. Like, especially, like, just random stuff. Like, it's just, like, people, like, uh, I don't know. I think somebody commented, like, Debbie Dad and, like, they don't even know who I am, and I'm literally the best father a daughter could ever have. Like, I love her to death. I'm always with her. Like, I take care of her. Yeah, it's not like you're it's on the like, internet, and, like, it's yeah. just, like, people don't see it. Because people see nowadays, they see vlog channels of, like, yeah. you with your kids 24-7. Or, right. like, not, like... People. And you don't have to... Being a father, you don't have to post your... Like, if you're a good dad, yeah. you don't have to post you being a dad every day for people to get that yeah you know what i mean like yeah. i'm a good dad off the internet mm-hmm. not just for social media yeah so like, it's actually probably the opposite the yeah. people who are like on the internet i feel like are the like, ones that, that aren't really taking care of their kids you know what i mean like but at the same time those are like the people who are um like what's it called i love that's they do it because like people love watching it like i love right. family yeah. channels yeah. and obviously it's like Another good thing is that you can be making an income for your child. Right. If exactly. you're doing it the right way, obviously. Yeah. But that's like another that's good thing. That's a lot, though. That's it's a, a lot. lot. And like yeah. putting your child out there. Out there early, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like a lot of back and forth. But yeah, yeah, I can tell you he's a great dad. Imagine if I'm just like, and I'm kidding. That's crazy. No. Don't do that. I'm not doing that. Okay. This one, this is, oh, wow, this one's wild. Bless you. 
Are you gonna cuff Jordan this year, Cameron? <laughs> um. Um. Truthfully, <laughs> yeah. like it's like a it's it's a surprise, you know. You just gotta. You guys will know when you know. You'll know when you know. Yeah. Next, how do? Oh, this is for the other one. So, guys, that wraps up this interview. We're gonna do a part two of guy talk. We've done girl talk. You've got some advice. Yeah. You've been through some things. Hundred percent. So we're gonna do a part two of guy talk and some advice for you girls out there. And honestly, me like <laughs> some of these questions, I'm like, wait, I need to know, Cameron. Yeah. Um, but thank you guys for listening to part one yeah. of getting to know Cameron and his story and some of like you know crazy things that have happened you're cute thanks <laughs> <laughs> well uh, um thanks for watching and listening to what they don't tell you make sure to rate us five stars on apple Podcasts and make sure to add us to your spotify playlist follow cameron and listen to his songs on spotify and apple 